Well, hello everybody. I would like to welcome you to Megan's World Podcast. I am your host, Special K Thoughts, aka Special K, better known in the world of Twitter. If you do not know by now, Megan's World is a pro Megan Markle podcast. We are supporters, fans, and stands of Megan Markle and Prince Harry too. We are not royalists. We are not monarchists. We can't stand rural reporters. We can't stand rural commentators. We are Meganist. Now, before we get started, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button once it appears. Okay, so what has been going on in the world of Meghan Markle this week? A lot. <laughs> now, this podcast is primarily going to be about Prince Harry. Prince Harry, Prince Harry, Prince Harry, Prince Harry. Our favorite ginger has been making some big money moves when it comes to charity. This past week, our favorite prince made a surprise return to the polo field since his royal exit moving to the U.S. to play in the Cintabale Polo Cup, which was held in Aspen, Colorado. Cintabale is a charity organization that was co-founded by Prince Harry in 2006. This nonprofit organization provides services to vulnerable children in South Africa who are HIV AIDS positive. The Sintabale Polo Cup charity event ended up raising $3.5 million. Let me repeat that again. The Sintabale Polo Cup charity event ended up raising $3.5 million. Dollars. Wow. Like my grandmother would say, Cha, that's a lot of pittis. That's a lot of pittis. <laughs> Prince Harry's longtime friend, Nacho Figueres, who is a pro polo player and the Sintabale ambassador, also played in the charity event as well. In addition to this appearance, Prince Harry announced that he would donate $1.5 million from the proceeds of his forthcoming memoir to charity. Outstanding. And I quote, The Cintabale Polo Cup is critical to securing the funds needed to advance this important mission, and I am thrilled to be able to support Cintabale both in person and financially through a separate charitable donation to fund this immediate need. Prince Harry then goes on to say that he will continue to make donations to charitable organizations because he is grateful to give back in that way to children and communities that are in need. Outstanding. Now, the Sintabale Polo Cup was not held last year because of the pandemic. The last time the event was held was in 2019 in Rome. It has been reported that this year's event has raised the most money so far. Hmm. This year's event that was held in Aspen, Colorado on these American shores has raised the most money so far? You don't say. So, Prince Harry was able to raise more money for a charity event as a non-working royal than he was a working royal? Huh. Extraordinary indeed. <laughs> Now, let's talk about Prince Harry's ride-or-die friend, Mr. Nacho Figueres, with his fine self. For those of you who don't know, Mr. Nacho is an Argentine professional polo player. 
He is known as the David Beckham of polo. David Beckham, he can get it too. (laughs) Now, Nacho has played professional polo in Argentina and the U.S. And yes, Nacho is married with children. Like one of my thought cousins would say. But is he happy though? (laughs) Let me stop tripping. Nacho has worked as a model, and he has been the face of Ralph Lauren's black label since 2005. Nacho is quoted as saying that when he was approached to be a model, of course he took the gig for extra money, but he also thought he could bring more awareness to the sport of polo. Sidebar, I have to admit that I had no idea that Nacho was a polo player until Meghan married Prince Harry. See, I have been fiending after Nacho since maybe 2008. I honestly thought he was just a model. Nacho turned pro at the age of 17, and he is still playing professional polo. I just love this bromance between Nacho and Prince Harry. Nacho appears to have always supported Prince Harry, and he never turned his back on him When he left the firm, Nacho has put himself out there and publicly supported Prince Harry. Nacho continues to put his arms around his brother. When the British press says Prince Harry has no friends, they have all turned their backs on him. Or when the British press jumps lanes and uses Prince Harry's friends as sources. Just remember, Prince Harry's real, true friends speak out publicly. They don't hide. Nacho, Dean Scott, and a few others support Prince Harry publicly. They don't hide behind sources. We all know about the unraveling events that have happened in Haiti and Afghanistan. A 7.2 magnitude earthquake has devastated Haiti, killing over a thousand people and leaving thousands homeless with no food or resources. The U.S. military pulling out of Afghanistan has caused chaos and led to the Taliban taking over the country. Harry and Meghan are leading efforts in both countries to provide services. On the Archwell Foundation website, Harry and Meghan released a statement about the devastation in both countries and encouraged us all to get involved and support charities that are doing critical work in those countries. Check out Archwell Foundation website. They have a list of organizations that you can support. Some featured are Women for Afghan Women. This organization provides safe shelter, resources, aid to displaced women and children in Afghanistan. Afghan Aid. This nonprofit organization helps provide urgent life-saving assistance to men, women, and children in Afghanistan. Mercy Corps. This nonprofit organization supports on-ground efforts delivering immediate humanitarian aid to the Haitian communities. And of course, the Invictus Foundation. We all know this organization supports wounded veterans. Prince Harry also released a co-statement with others on the Invictus Foundation website, encouraging veterans to check on each other and support each other. The Archwell Foundation also listed mental health resources such as the National Alliance on Mental Health Illness, the Loveland Foundation, Project Healthy Minds. News came out that the Archwell Foundation and World Central Kitchen are delivering thousands of hot, nutritious meals daily to hospitals and shelters caring for Haitians impacted by the earthquake. Compassion in action. Compassion in action that is having a direct positive impact in people's lives that are in need. Now, on a personal note, 
I have to admit that I was really triggered this past week. Many of you know I am an Army veteran. I served in Afghanistan. Two people that I served with lost their lives in Afghanistan. One of them was a friend. Neither of them were on the front lines. When I think about them, I see their faces. I hear their laughs. And I can't help but think that they died in vain. They lost their lives for people who gave up on their own country in 11 days when the U.S. military has been there for over 20 years. I'm sorry, but that's a hard pill to swallow. Prince Harry's statement is much appreciated for people like me who are struggling to see this. It is so important that veterans support each other because we can relate to each other based on our own military experiences through commonality and connectivity. Prince Harry is always going to speak up, advocate, and support the military community. All right. We are coming to an end of this podcast. Please hit the subscribe button and follow us on Twitter and Instagram. I am going to leave you with a famous Meghan Markle and Prince Harry quote. Yes, a famous Meghan and Harry quote. All right, here we go. Service is universal. I will say it one more time. Service is universal. I am Special K Thoughts, and I'm out. See you next time.